Here, welcome to our comparison video on switching from 225 40ths R18 to 245 40ths R18. First up, fitment. The diameter difference between these tire sizes is 2.5%, which falls within the acceptable 3% range. This means the interchange is technically acceptable without necessitating major adaptations. However, it's essential to ensure that your vehicle's wheel wells can accommodate the wider tire. Switching to the 245 40ths increases the diameter by 0.63 inches, which in turn raises the vehicle's ground clearance slightly. This increase could provide a bit more protection against obstacles and rough roads, although it might slightly raise the center of gravity. The 245 40ths is 0.79 inches wider than the 225 40ths, increasing from 8.86 inches to 9.65 inches. This wider contact patch could potentially improve traction and stability, especially during cornering and in wet conditions. However, it may also increase rolling resistance, which could affect fuel efficiency. Concerning the sidewall height, switching to the 245 40ths increases the sidewall height by 0.31 inches. The taller sidewall could result in a slightly softer ride and better impact absorption compared to the 225 40ths. This might be noticeable on rougher roads or during pothole encounters. Regarding the speedometer difference, with the larger 245 40ths tires, the speedometer will read slightly lower than the actual speed. For example, at a speedometer reading of 20 miles per hour, the actual speed will be 20.5 miles per hour. Based on our observation, switching to 245 40ths R18 offers benefits such as potentially improved traction and stability due to a wider contact patch and slightly taller sidewall. The increased ground clearance, albeit minimal, could provide a bit more protection against road obstacles. However, the trade-offs include potential rubbing issues in the wheel wells due to the increased width, slightly decreased fuel efficiency from increased rolling resistance, and a minor speedometer inaccuracy.